Good morning, David. This is Deer Run Drive in Penn Township, and crews are still out here, as you can see. It's starting to get to be a little bit lighter out here. You can slightly see the tree now on top of the house. You'll see it better once uh, the light it gets brighter. Uh, but what we know at this point right now is crews are waiting for uh, stabilizing uh, engineers to come out here to make sure this home is structurally sound and uh, figure out how significant the damage is. But we're told by emergency uh, management officials that the damage is pretty significant. As for the man that was trapped in this house, the call came in around 2.30, and uh, he was in there for about an hour and 35 minutes before crews were able to get him out. He was trapped on his bed, pinned beneath the tree. The tree was laying on his hips and abdomen area. He was transported to Forbes Regional Hospital. We don't know the extent of his injuries right now. His wife was also in the house with him. She managed to get out safely. She called 911. We don't know if she was in the bed with him when this tree fell onto this house. And um, as far as the search and rescue went, take a listen to emergency management crews explaining how they made sure they precisely went into this house to stabilize everything. Sure, it was safe for the responders to go in. They had to shore up the building. They had to shore up the tree in addition. So they went in there to stabilize the tree in the house, and a doctor from Forbes Regional Hospital was also called to the scene. He, that doctor assisted paramedics with the patient until they were able to remove him from the home. He was taken out by stretcher and again conscious and alert and was taken to Forbes Regional Hospital. As far as those engineers, those stabilizing uh, crews that are on their way out here, they're going to again assess the situation as far as this house goes. We do know that this tree was roughly around 18 inches in diameter and about 80 feet high large tree and crews say it did rain some around 1030 last night so they believe the ground saturated they can't confirm whether or not that's why the tree fell over but that's what they're speculating at this point we'll bring you the very latest throughout the remainder of the morning we are live in Penn Township Amy Wattis KDK News